this is just a bit of bonus footage. We're back out with Paul. I've brought uh, Danny the fart machine with me. Yep, Give him a wave, Danny. Be good tonight. Danny the fart machine. We can go in camera and do it. Well, Dan Danny the fart machine. And no uh, farts tonight. We'll come out and see if we can get a few uh, sly cod because um, we know they're out there. Uh, and we're just waiting for them. But um, it's about, what time is it now? Seven o'clock, half past seven. It's Sunday and it's uh, five past seven. Our tide is nine o'clock ish, not nine fifteen. And um, we've had a couple of good bites so far. I've got the shrimp net out. Uh, I've had a few shrimps. But um, it's holding lovely. Bit of wind, it's been raining a bit. But uh, I'm just hoping to get half an hour footage of something, you know, a bit of bonus video for you for this week. Because I haven't been putting a lot of footage up, so I'm going to get you a few extra few of those up, like, you know what I mean? Put some more footage up. So I thought I'd bring Danny out with me, give him a blast out, because he needs it. He's got his uh, Star Trek uh, headlight torch on tonight. What he paid loads of money for, I mean, it was, he brought the bank, it's all good, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, this so it's ready. all good. You ready? But I found my little button. So there I'm we go, it's it. not bad for two quid. I've got um, about 100 yards to the left of me, I've got Louis Bambouwe fishing with me. Uh, well, not with me, but I've, he turned up and I did. And I've just had uh, one of uh, England's best casters <laughs> practicing to the right of me. I think, he does 200, I think he's done 290 odd metres or something, 292 metres, which is pretty damn good. Uh, not today, obviously. But I mean, uh, he's been, he's been uh, I've had a good chat with him. And uh, it's, been, it's been a good afternoon, really, because I've been here quite a few hours and I haven't been filming because of the rain and stuff. But as I say, it's beautiful conditions now for the time being. So I'm going to leave you on the rods a little bit. I'm going to get my lights on so you can see them. And then um, soon get some fish. See if we can get some fish, because I, I say I've had some good knocks. So let's just have a look, see if you've got the rods in camera. If Danny moves just a little bit, because he likes it, he likes the limelight, does Danny? You know, right. Anything to be on camera, he loves it. If you don't calm down when we catch a fish, and we'll slap you with it. There we go, he's going to fish slap me apparently. <laughs> it's not good. I hope my gas haven't run out. We've had to get a lot of rages. I'm so busy gabbing. Don't run out. Don't know. Did you turn it off? No. It was on for ages. That's what we told you. That's still going to run out of gas. Right, it's still steaming that. It'll stay out for ages anyway. There's no oh, air in it. Lot of things. I don't need it on. I keep meaning to get some more gas, but I keep forgetting. So you know, hopefully that's hot enough. Oh yeah, that's that's well done anyway. It's done anyway. I've got a few bits of gas left, but enough for tonight. Yeah, let's so hope we can uh, both fit into a fish or something because I've got the shrimp net back out again. So if we get out with that, I'll show you it. But I think Louis brought one tonight, so he's having a little go at it as well. I can't really have a chat with him on camera because he's quite a bit, a bit up to the left of me. He's near the cranches at the left, though. So. But uh, it's about 7.2 metre tonight. It's, sea state, it's, it's a bit choppy, but I mean, it's all right. It's holding, it's holding out. out, though. It's holding out virtually 12 o'clock. So, you know, can't grumble, really. Uh, putting full squid on at the moment, that but it's uh, that big boat's coming in. but it's not lasting very long. There's a lot of bloody crab out there, as I found out when I pulled my net in a minute ago. Left it out 15 minutes, there was about 14 crabs in it, so that's a hell of a lot of crab. Yeah, Could do with a few cod down here to reduce the numbers, couldn't we? But it's all good. There's a little boat going by. It's a big Big one, got a container on there. That's all you love with that, really. Certain chopping to do that. It's not cold though, is it? Yeah, it's not calm considering it's um it's pretty warm really to be fair it's i say it's about 50 wouldn't you it's 40 about 50 ish something like that you could easily wear a t-shirt probably anyway or a mankini if you're brave yeah or a mankini if you're brave enough but i mean uh we're not brave enough besides i've seen enough of bear watch so many doggers on here anyway 
Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> You never know, you might just catch a, a glimpse of a, an elusive cod. I don't know my drink off because I've run out of gas. I can always turn my ass back on. Right, I'm going to leave you on the rods for a little bit and turn my light off because it's pointless wasting the light. But uh, it's all good. I just want to get, you know, 30 minutes worth of footage will go on me. Just a bit of bonus footage for you. I mean, I'm going to keep turning up now until I get a lot of cod. And let's just hope it in a, a drought like last year. Because it was a barren year last year, we didn't get much at all coming down the window. Danny, is that your rod going or is it the wind? Huh? I don't know, I can't really see it much. I can. That's very flimsy compared to yours, though, isn't it? Well, if it's if it's wobbling like that, the wind just drop it down a little bit. Get it out of the wind. Now I'll take a bit for the waves off that to come in at us. The wind. We want a big pull down. That's what we're looking for. Win that. Well, yeah, that's quite some. We've well, had quite a few good chats, haven't we, with people tonight? Yeah. Well, England's fairest caster. Well, one of it's not the fairest. I think you said one he was of. the fairest caster. I can't remember. He exactly. used to be one of. Don't the quote me on fairest, it. But, but um, he's a nice bloke, anyway. Had a good chat with him for about an hour. I think we took most of his casting time up, I think, because um, we didn't get that many in because it started to bloody rain and then there was dog walkers about. And obviously when you chuck in pendulum casts out, it's got to be a clear area, hasn't it? So, not good. But yeah, at some point, uh, we're going to start striking into cod and, uh, you know, tonight might be the night, might not be. And we've got a spare rod like we are. No. I thought you'd have got one. You get them off Timo for about three quid. Timo, it's like about three weeks to come as well. Well, you get them off Amazon next day delivery for about six quid. A lot of batteries with them and a charger. You should think about getting one though, because you can see your rods a lot better. I'll take a little break then if we get any action I'll be back on. Right we're back, um, just cast back out. I'm on a black lug now, one of uh, Mark Tonji's uh, big long 14 inch black lugs. Frozen of course but I've tipped it off with a bit of squid because uh, there's a lot of crab out there and I don't want it to roll off in this uh, current so we'll see how that gets on. Uh, I'm not going to waste a worm if there's no bite so um, I'll go back to crab and uh, squid if I have to. I bothered out the crab because I've got unlimited supply now, so it doesn't really bother me. But if I get a bite on that, it'll be pretty quick, I would suppose, because uh, it's um, with it being warm. It's usually within the first five or six minutes you cast it. Usually, they're there. That nice fresh lug on there, well, freshly cast lug. It is a bit windy but I'm behind the van so um, I'm masking the wind out so it's not so bad but um, it's holding nicely though I can't grumble I haven't lost no gear yet I've been stuck once though but I ain't lost no gear I say this is just a bit of bonus footage, you know, it's not a full video. I'm going to stick it up, be about half an hour long maybe, but, you know, something to put up there, innit? I, I want to get a bit more content up to make up for the ones I can put up, like. 
we'll call this uh, cod hunt number two, Paul. And obviously we're looking for cod. It could be a long process this year because we don't know when they're going to come down the river in the numbers like. There has been a few come out in various places. But uh, nothing in great numbers, I mean it's just the odd one. A few whiting have started to come out and show. But there again, they're not in great numbers either. You know, all I've seen really, I've, I've had one cob this season in here so far and I've had um, one flatty which I got in the prawn net and I've had um, five slugs or rockling which also was in the prawn net and I got, well so I got that eel so I got an eel the other night when I was with Gordon Gordon being Wolfman But I mean, I suspect these early sessions is going to be a lot of blanks because um, it's it's one of them feeling out sessions, seeing where it is, like where the fish is, are they starting to bite, what they're biting on, and stuff like that. You know, at least I'm collecting bait. That's the main thing out this net. That's the idea. Get a lot of good bait, and then when they do start biting, I've got a good supply of it. It's the crabs I'm mainly after. It's a nice clear night, I said we just had a bit of rain about um, an hour ago. It's, it's not really cleared up, it's still the sky looks full of rain, but it's, it looks like it's not going to rain now. Well hopefully it won't anyway. But I'll be back if, um, if there's some action. Right, we're back. Uh, still, I've had a few bites but no fish so far, but I don't know whether it's weed or not. Um, there's a hell of a lot of crab, I'll tell you that now, because I pulled the net in again and it was full of crabs. I've seen no prawns now, uh, it's just crab. And a hell of a lot of it. Um, there's a lot of fishing though, there's um, one, two, three, four, seven lots of fishermen out now, so there's quite a few fishing. So it's, uh, it's getting pretty busy, our tide's in about an hour and a half. Um, it's holding still. There's a bit of breeze, but it's holding. You know, it's all good. I've only got one rod out. I don't want to put two out, because basically... Um, I'm quite happy with one. If I start getting bites, I'll put the other one out. Has somebody just come by? I don't know. It's got a bit choppy, is not it? Suddenly got choppy, yeah. Did anything go by? Like Weird then, isn't it? got really choppy then just for no reason where's yours man's man's still at 11 o'clock has pulled a little bit but I, I threw it that way as well though so but i'll be pulling mine in shortly because i say i put worm in it topped off with a bit of squid um just to see what was out there kind of thing that's what you do with this one watch tap it as i say it's uh, it's pretty busy you know on here ready Day, it? It's just a matter of getting a fish now. I see y'all out of mile off. Man's still at about 11 o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. That's, That's what I say. It's a bit slack, that though. Yeah, it's fine, that. Feels real loose. Danny keeps blinding him with his light. My light's not even on. It is. Oh, it's go on. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, I just thought I'd uh, come on and give you a recap because as I said, I don't want to make this video long. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, half an hour or so, 40 minutes. But just to see if we could capture an early season cod in the Umber. I'm going to keep coming here every other day until I get them. And we get them on camera. So I'll be back in a while. Right, back on a little update. <clears throat> about 25 minutes have gone by. Uh, I've uh, cast out about five minutes ago on the biggest squid you've ever seen. Must have been seven inches long, I'm not even joking. A huge squid. Uh, because obviously the crabs are just uh, having a field day on my bait. So uh, I put a big one on. 
hopefully it'll last long enough to get a bite on it because uh, what time is it now Johnny? Half past eight. So it's uh, about just over an hour to our tide and uh, that's just tough. We can look into a fish before we go <coughs> but I just thought I'd keep you on an update. I brought the crab net in again once more uh, but only had crabs in it, nothing else. There's about three or four in it this time. But I'm just hoping we get a, a fish of any description. I could have been nice, but I mean, anything will do. A bit of white in anything. I technically blanked last time, but I didn't because uh, I had a flatty and some uh, rocklings, didn't I, out of the net. <laughs> Still caught them, didn't I? Just the weather's just been weird because it's warm, but it was threatening to rain. I mean, it did rain for about 10, 15 minutes, quite heavily. And then it just stopped and never ran rain since. It's just been all right, really. Well, the bites are uh, pretty much dried up. I've had some good bites today though. We've even had a bite together, haven't we? At the same time. Decent bites. They both flapped at the same time, didn't they? But then they stopped. <clears throat> but I've just got a feeling there's a hell of a lot of bloody crab out there. I mean, it's just a crab fest, really. You know, it, fodder for the crabs. We've had quite a lot. I think unless you put a massive bait on there, you're not going to have any bait long enough. But that worm lasted about five minutes. There's also a bit of weed coming in now as well. I mean, it's not a huge amount of weed, but you know, it's easy to get off. There's still a bit of weed coming in. But, um, just put the cat on for a nice drink. But I'm going to be back shortly if there's any more action on them rods, so I'll see you in a bit. Well, just um, pulled my line in with that great big squid I put on, that was about seven inches long. The squid is all there still, more or less, but it had a huge crab on it, uh, took it into a feast. So, you know, even, even even bloody crab out there, you know, there's crab everywhere. There must be inundated with crab, but at least I ain't seen no mitten crabs. I've been having that crab net out, well, I'm calling it a crab net now because there's more bloody crab in it than out else, but I've been having that out and um, I ain't seen no mitten crabs, so that's that's a good sign. So, you know, because like, I don't know about last season, but the season before I was getting quite a few mitten crabs. Um, and they haven't seen any up to now, so maybe we haven't got any this time. But I just thought I'd give you an update because I say it's not a, it's not a long video. It's just basically um, a bit of extra footage, like you know, see if, see if I could catch some. I don't know how Louis getting on. Louis Bamboo is further up, uh, but he's still there. Um, he's about 100 meters up to the left of me, uh, just near the crunches. I don't know whether they've had anything up there. But uh, the weeds dropped off anyway, I was getting a bit of weed they're on now. But um, you know. It's holding. It's holding lovely. It's just starting to rain again. So I might end up bleeding uh, because I'm going in the next hour anyway, well the next 40 minutes or so. So um if it does rain, I'll probably do the outro in the van. You know, this could be the last time I'm on camera. But, um, as I said, it was only a bit of extra footage, so who cares, like, I'll be out again in, in a couple more days. I'm gonna keep coming out, I'm gonna keep hammering this place until I know the fish are on. And then I'll hammer it again, <laughs> again and again and again. Because I wanna catch some good cod. I'll be recording these 27 cod two years ago. Now. And uh, I wanna beat that. So, I wanna beat that, because last year was terrible. So um, I'll be back shortly anyway if there's anything happening on them rods, or on that rod, should I say. Right, we're back in the van, all wrapped up. Uh, nothing happening, everybody's left. Um, there's only Louis left, uh, a bit further down on the crunches. Uh, absolutely nobody's had any fish whatsoever because I've been speaking to us of the past. Um, so it looks like it's one of, them, uh, one of them sessions, but you know, if you keep coming out and doing some stuff, uh, keep looking for the fish eventually you'll get onto them um, obviously they're not here at the moment 
uh, but I'm going to keep trying to be back out in another two days. I might try um, Vicky Dock or I might try Macro, but uh, I'm definitely coming back down the river because I want to find these cod. Um, and um, hopefully we'll get a big sack of them to make up for it for the ones we aren't getting on these uh, last few videos. But this was only a bit of bonus footage anyway, so I'm not bothered. So for me, uh, cod bites and um, Danny the Fart Machine who oh, incidentally was a good lad tonight it's uh he didn't do anything tonight look no farts tonight so from us two it's a very good night here at paul <laughs> <laughs>